Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates, and I'm back with episode three of my European summer series where I'm bringing you guys along on my two month European travel adventure. In case you missed it, I recently spent a few days in Paris and then visited the city of Epernay in the Champagne region. You can find those vlogs linked in my summer playlist below. But today I'm in Belgium in the beautiful canal city of Bruges. I actually wasn't familiar with this city until doing research for this summer, and I'm so glad I went here. So let me just show you and let's hop into Bruges. Hotel room tour. I do not recall booking this. I mean, I guess I did. It did not look this big. These are such high ceilings. And then, pretty. We are in Belgium. <laughs> I'm so excited. Also, it's so cute here. We've been here for one minute. I think I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Made it to Bruges. <laughs> We're gonna be here for the next two nights. Quite a train journey to get here. That was rough. <laughs> That's fine, it's just a little bit stressful. Nearly thought we were gonna not make the train here because it was so confusing. Like our two, why two of our three trains? They were having screen errors and our trains weren't showing up on the screens to like tell you which platform. Anyways, we narrowly made it. We're here. The drive here was like 10 minutes from the train station. Everything was so beautiful. I think we're gonna love it here. I love it here already. <laughs> and this hotel is beautiful. I'll have the name on screen. Wow, I feel like royalty. I feel like this is like the Plaza Hotel. Vlogging on the run. <laughs> First exciting thing we're doing in Bruges is meeting up with one of you guys. Let's follow her name, Jasmine. We've DM'd for years and she lives in Belgium. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Well, which way should we go out? This one? The elevator? Anyways, yeah. we are meeting up with her and her girlfriend for dinner, which I'm very excited about. How will we do in heels is the question. <laughs> on these cobblestone roads. All the buildings are so cute. It's all set on the way here on this cobblestone-y trip. Yeah, this is very, really kicks off. This will be a breeze, she says. On the way here, she's like, just wait till I'm tipsy. This will be no problem. What'd you say? She said, storming right through. You're gonna twist her ankle. Please don't. Dinner's so fun, right? No, it's fun. They're so cute. The sun sets here at 10 p.m. I love it here. I had the best dinner. Jasmine and her girlfriend were so fun. I feel like we're in with the locals. I'm just kidding. It was just fun in the end. Okay, bye. Like, this is just the architecture everywhere. <laughs> Why are you walking on that? very nice hotel room. I'm obsessed with this room. Like this hotel alone is maybe my favorite so far. The city just like vibe wise, aesthetic wise, like everything is just so cute. I wish we were staying here longer, except also not because I don't know. I don't know how much exactly there is to actually do here, but everything in Bruges so far is beautiful. If this is not on your radar and you're ever in the nearby region, you have to come here. <laughs> but also just this hotel is amazing. We were watching Netflix last night and with like this view and I was just like, I feel like I am Eloise at the Plaza. Today is our only full day in Bruges. It's currently like noon already. Last night we had such a fun dinner. After that, Giselle and I were walking home. It appears that things close very early here. Like most things close at like 10. <laughs> um, but there were a couple bars that were open until like midnight or two. So we went into one that was like so chill. It was a pool bar. They had a ton of pool tables upstairs and it was like free. So we both just got a beer that the bartender recommended for us, like a Belgian beer and loved that. We're chatting with him. He was so sweet. Just like walked on home 
home. It feels very safe, like very clean, peaceful vibes here. Um, we were passing the square last night on the way to dinner too. And there was live music and like all these old couples were dancing and it was so cute. And then like, well, like from very far away, one like old man like motioned us over. It was cute, but we had to go to dinner. So for our full day today, first thing on the agenda, get a Belgian waffle. At some point, I think we want to try Belgian fries because a lot of you guys have been DMing me at recommendations for that. And then we have a brewery tour for a local brewery here at 1.30. We're just gonna go from there. Pretty much I feel like you can just walk anywhere and it's gonna be beautiful. Might do a canal tour. Lots of options. I love it here, I'm so happy. Let's seize the day. Good morning, Bruges. Beautiful, beautiful. Like you literally stumble upon stuff like this like at every turn. <laughs> Waffles, what? You want to read it? First Belgian waffle. Gotta see everyone. BLT. Yeah. Narrow little streets. Almost brewery tour time. Six generations of the same family has continued to pass it down. And what I thought was the coolest is that from here, which is oh, they used to make yeah. it historically. Are you talking about that? Yeah, throughout time, they created like this six million dollar pipeline that like takes the beer from here under like the whole city to like their manufacturing plant or their Bottle industrial yeah. place where they like do the last steps. This place used to like, deliver the beer to your house, like people's houses as well. But then they said in the 70s. Is that when grocery stores started? Or at least here? I don't know. They're having a lot of supermarkets. And then they like lost most of their business because they like couldn't compete with like the more convenience of that, I guess. And they had to change all their the whole way they like manufactured it to stand out. And anyways, it was just cool to learn about it. It was just like sweet old man giving the tour. So we're gonna enjoy our beers. Cheers to brew. Next up we're doing a canal tour. The electric boat or the electric? Wow. Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. We were up there for the brewery tour, and this is the lowest bridge in the city. Duck, duck. I think it's gonna be fine. No. It's fine. We're back from two very fun things, the brewery tour and our canal tour that we just went on. If you're ever in Bruges, there you basically just like all the stands look the same. They're just like different boat, um, just different companies on the canal. I think all of them, because we walked to a few different ones just to compare, I think all of them are 12 euros per person for 30 minutes. And it was cute. You just like sail along. They give you lots of info on everything you're passing. And right now we're hungry gals. We are going to try two other things here in Belgium. We're going to get the Belgian fries and a chocolate waffle. Because earlier we had a savory waffle and we learned there that there's two kinds of waffles. Like the Brussels waffle, which is like Arizona was called. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was like a soft like... Fluffy waffle, and then there's what? The liege. Liege? Yeah, I don't know. That I think looks better. It's gonna be like richer, I think, or just like thicker. I don't know. Sweeter, dessert <laughs> Yeah, dessert <-ier. laughs> We're gonna go get dessert waffles or yes. one. Share that, share some fries, skipping along. We're <laughs> excited. All right, chocolate waffle time. Try or see, it is good. Next 
up, Belgian fries. We thought this special sauce was on the side, but it's not. Yeah, mayo, ketchup, and onions. Ooh, feels very crispy. Mmm, good. We're at this beer place, and the menus are on the ceiling, so I'll pull it down. You grab like your language. <laughs> also, there's a really cool beer wall. This is where we are now. We're gonna share a little flight of local beers. These are our local beers in England. It goes one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Try one. What are you doing? Which one are you trying? Try trying IPA. IPA. Oh, oh I always love an IPA. Like. Very light. It's very light. That doesn't taste very IPA. -y. It's good. <laughs> this is the beer wall. So many beers, it goes on and on and on and on around the whole restaurant, <laughs> or the bar. Often for some Belgian chocolate. How do we know what to get? There's so many options, those are like the gifts. Banana meringue. Morning from our last morning in Belgium. We are heading off this morning, it's like 10 a.m to go to Amsterdam for the next three days. And from there we go on to Greece, which I'm so excited about. So I've not researched a lot about Amsterdam, kind of going in blind. We're gonna be winging it when we get there, but we have two trains this morning. Um, kind of a tight connection again, like 20 minutes. So we're gonna cross our fingers and let's go. We're in we bought some chocolate. That's one does, Belgian. We got an assortment, just a wild card. <laughs> So we're gonna try it out. Oh no, my water. Yeah. We both take a bite of separate ones. Put it on. It is something dark. I remember it has cookies on it. Cookies on it? Cookie. Ready? Thank you. I don't know cookie in there. Yeah, there's no cookie. It's all over there. Great. What a big bite. We're taking it in half. Oh, good. That one's okay. Oh, oh no. Can you spit it out? Come on. Just have it one. They're all very pretty. And then I'm done. We're good. Mint. 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 But like straight up. It's not like a mint or candy I've ever tasted. Like an Indian mint? No. Not at all. I'm glad I tried it though. <laughs> and that is it for Bruges. This is a little bit of a slower paced vlog, but overall this was just a very peaceful, gorgeous city. The waffles delivered, the canals were stunning, and overall I just thought this town was so quaint and pretty. So checking off Bruges, our next stop is Amsterdam, which will be over on my vlog channel very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next vlog.